Giga Texas is still at 45% done, but the freeze is thawing. So let's cover some frequently asked questions. Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. With the 100-year freeze that blew through Texas last week, pretty much everything shut down, sadly including roads, uh, power, and almost all construction. If you were hoping to see big gains at Giga Texas to move us closer to getting our Cybertrucks, we didn't see it, but that's nothing compared to the devastation the area saw. While I can show you the progress on the site in my usual tracker form, And I will. There isn't much to see, so I figured I'd cover some of the Giga Texas Tracker frequently asked questions instead, since the same ones seem to keep coming up over and over. I assume this is part one of two or three or four, but we shall see. We shall see. If I've missed something, by all means let me know, but here we go. How does this estimate work? Well, it's more in terms of time than dollars, square feet, or really anything else. The only thing we're looking to track is how soon the building will be completed, or at least completed enough that it can begin manufacturing retail-ready vehicles. Why not go by dollars instead of days? I understand from my viewers that most construction projects completion is measured by dollars rather than days, but dollars spent is a nearly impossible metric to ascertain from the air, while construction completion is a bit clearer. At the end of the day, I believe viewers are more interested in when their Cybertruck will be produced rather than how many dollars have been spent towards the completion of that factory. But what if the battery area isn't ready in time? That's secondary. There was no battery production in phase one of Giga Shanghai when they started churning out 150,000 cars a year. And between Giga Nevada for batteries and Fremont for other odds and ends and seats and whatever, there's no reason to think Texas won't be able to produce vehicles prior to their ability to make every last single part on site. Why give so much weight to X when it's quick and or easy? So I've seen a fair amount of this, but you know, seldom in helpful ways. Why give 20% weighting to the steel sticks when they're such an easy part of the process? Why give 20% to the roof, 10 in rough, 10 in finished? Well, because that's what I assigned them when I started. And although I asked for help to improve the math, I didn't have enough viewers back then to reach the sorts of viewers who had better information to check my math. This is a mistake that I will fix in the future. Truth is, the S-curve looks too steep because of the extra weight given to the steel and roof work, both of which are vastly easier than land prep, footings, and final completion, but that was the best information I had at the time, and we're kind of too far into it to make the switch. I've already taken these into account for future Gigafactories, so it should be a bit flatter of a curve next time. What makes you an authority? This has been asked in a number of almost exclusively hostile ways, though not so much recently. I have no personal experience with commercial or industrial construction, but I have watched thousands of hours of drone footage of Tesla Gigafactory construction. You name a site, you name a channel, and I can assure you, I've watched literally every single video from tippy to toppy, many of them more than once, and not just casually, but while counting squares, reading all the comments, and asking pointed questions myself. I've watched all of them. I have 100% confidence that a plumber or electrician or really any other tradesman on site can give clearer insight into their particular project's timeline, but I'm looking at this from a perspective that's a lot more zoomed out. 
while I don't know what it takes to do rework on an ill-placed footing, I do know from looking at this and all the other gigasites roughly when it should be finished. I may be wrong or I may be right, but I'm ready to own it either way. And I don't pretend that my today prediction is going to hold firm over the longer term. Why do you give so little weight to interior completion? It's not so much weight in terms of dollars as time. Tesla has proven they can outfit a completed structure in four months from the time the walls are closed off. Unlike graders, foundation guys, and steelworkers who each have to wait for one another to finish their parts, the interior guys can, and usually do, swarm in and work all over each other in practically the same space at virtually the same time. These parts of the project can be done concurrently rather than being forced to wait for the previous steps to be completed, and that's just how interior work generally is done. What about all the other projects on the site? Yeah, I've seen these. They're kind of going on kind of everywhere. Well, we haven't been able to pull permits or site maps to see what they're working on in those places, so we have no idea what the ultimate objective is, nor any way to determine how far along they are as of today. What we do know is that no matter how many other projects appear to be undertaken on other parts of the site, it doesn't seem to impact the progress on the main emerald structure one bit. While those projects may be big or important, they're equally untrackable and, I guess, irrelevant to the main structure's progress. How has the estimate changed over time? The short answer is a lot, with the longer answer being via progress on site, via refinement to the estimates, and also via error correction to the equation overall. And if you want to see how it's changed, you can just go back and look at these. It's a whole series. You will see it in real time in the past, as it were. This is the first time I've made one of these, so there have been errors, and I hope to not replicate them for the next Gigafactory, and I have, you know, learned a lot along the way. The completion estimate has been as early as 921 of this year, and as late as January 8th of 2022, with an average of November 26th. While it's still impossible to know when the Central Emerald will be complete, I am at peace with these estimates, and I am very at peace with the average overall. Is it true that you have a Tesla tattoo? Yes. Yes, it is. And no, <laughs> you can't see it. I will do a tattoo reveal <laughs> when I hit 100 patrons on Patreon. But it's real, I assure you. In fact, here's a little fun fact you guys probably didn't know about me. I was featured in an article in the Wall Street Journal um, last year, year, year and a half ago, something like that, maybe a year. And the author required me to send her proof of the tattoo as part of the fact check for the story, which I did. Anybody read that article? I, I had a cousin and a buddy both contact me saying, man, I read this in the Wall Street Journal and I almost thought they meant you. <sighs> yeah, that was me. Buddy, buddy, that, that, that was me. So let's get to the chart for this week and it's, yeah, it is what it is. But first, let me thank my Patreons who do get early access, bonus content, and keep the channel going. YouTube famously pays F all to content creators, so I can't do it without you guys. So welcome to Ali Moiza, Leif S, Paul Garrett, Andre Lyakovich, and Rich Brandwine at the cool level, and David Hayes at the very cool level. Thank you guys, you're a big part of the reason I'm actually able to make these videos, and I cannot thank you enough. You guys, I swear, rock. So here's the site map, 
and here's the almost exact same completion as of last week and as of today yeah we're still basically 45 percent done and your Cybertruck factory will now be complete after 481 days on or about November 14th of 2020. Due to the freeze, the only real progress we may have seen this week was the relocation of Portas to the other side of the potties, so there, frankly, ain't a whole lot to report. And, you know, I guess I, I apologize. I'm, I'm not... I'm not a worker there, nor nor did I suffer the sorts of hardships they did. So, I mean, so what did I miss or misunderstand? Give me that steaming earful I've earned in the comments below and let me know how I got it right or wrong, what I coulda, shoulda covered, and how to make this estimate better next time. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the roof of what I can only assume is going to be the Giga Texas Rave Cave. Eggplant. <laughs>